Hello, Susan, and welcome. And thank you so, so much for your time on behalf of Shelley and the team. We really, really appreciate your time um, and having a wee chat with me today. Um, I've had the pleasure of watching you for quite a while on our Feel of B programme. Um, so it's, it's lovely to finally um, meet you and hear you. Um, because it's normally just posts and photographs. So it's an absolute pleasure. Um, let's just start off. Uh, Susan, just tell me a bit about yourself, your family life and and things and where you're where, where about in the world you are actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Susan. I'm 48 years old and originally from uh, the Dundee area, but now living in northern Sweden. Um, I've been living with my partner for 11 years and uh, two years ago my now 83 year old father made the very brave decision to move over to Sweden to live with us. Oh wow. That was really exciting. <laughs> oh my goodness that's just fantastic and what do you do Susan do you work at all or? Yes yeah. I work as um, a mother tongue English teacher. Oh, so that's uh, teaching English to children that use English. At, obviously, I'm in Sweden, so the, the main language is Swedish. Uh, however, children who have an English speaking parent have the right here to have mother tongue English lessons. And oh. that's what I do. And I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. So do you just move around the schools um, teaching different kids, yeah? yeah? yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, okay, so tell me a bit about um, Feel Like Be. Why did you decide to join? Where did you hear about the programme? And things like that. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Yeah. A bit of a weird one. Really? <laughs> I've never been a dieter. I've never, uh, I've always felt very comfortable in my own skin. And uh, but I do believe that uh, things happen for a reason. And uh, last year, when my partner and I were working in the garden, um, we went to sit down on the, the decking for a break. Mm -hmm. And when I went to stand up, I quite literally could not stand up from a ground level seating position yeah. without rocking back and forward to get a bit of momentum to be able to get myself up and I thought no Susan you are out of control this is uh, this is it so uh, I always knew that I was overweight I always knew that I was fat but the moment you realize something uh, that's when you have to do something about it for me, that was a huge shift in uh, my mindset that how fat and unhealthy I really had become. And I hadn't realized it until that moment. And like I said, I had no diet experience. I didn't know where to look or what even I was going to be looking for. And um by chance, by fate, uh, um, there, I was looking at Facebook later on that day and my friends were sharing this uh, flyer about a little dog that had gone missing. And, uh, and I, before I share anything on Facebook, I always check to make sure that either the source is good or if it's about a pet or something that uh, the pet hasn't been found and I'm not just sure. sharing things unnecessarily. So I uh, did a bit of investigation work and I had a look on Stan's mum's page and the first Stan, thing... I remember... Yeah, it was Stan. Yes. <laughs> well, well, yeah. yeah. I remember Stan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I looked on his mummy's page... There was this um, uh, video, and it obviously you would have to click on it to watch it. And the thing that actually mesmerized me from the beginning was uh, well, I didn't know who it was at the time, but it was Shelley. 
and I thought, my God, her hair, it's really cool. <laughs> so I didn't know who Shelley Booth was because living in Sweden that, and no experience in that kind of fitness world. Uh, but I was really intrigued by the hair. So I clicked on the video <laughs> and, uh, and I listened. And I thought, right, okay, I'm, I'll just close that down. And uh, obviously Stan was still missing. So I thought, right, no problem. So anyway, it, it, it didn't leave me. I don't know if it was the hair or if it was what I heard, but I just couldn't get the video out of my mind. And I couldn't remember what uh, Shelley's name was. Mm -hmm. And I thought, mm, I'd like to find out more but I can't remember who it is. So again, I had to troll back through some friends' posts mm -hmm. and then eventually work my way down and uh, I started following Shelley's health page on Facebook. And I thought, this has to be a scam, you know, too good to be true. And, uh, and I thought, no, no. And then the enrollment date flashed up because I was following the page. So I was getting notifications. Yes. And, and I thought to myself, do you know what? This has happened for a reason. And five pounds a day, I'm definitely worth that. And I thought, why not give it a go? See what this is all about. And if these women can do it, I can do it. Absolutely. And that was it. I signed up and not a clue what I was going to be doing or how I was going to be doing it. But I, I believed I took a, a leap of faith and uh, signed up. How long ago yeah. was that, Susan? That was one year and three days ago <laughs> that I started Feel Look B. <laughs> Well, so happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And um, tell me, what have you enjoyed in the last year? Or t tell me your journey. What's what's happened to you? Well, I I knew I had to lose weight mm -hmm. and I didn't know what was achievable, having no experience. And I thought to myself, if I could lose about 40 kilos in two years so maybe 20 kilos a year yeah I thought that might be achievable maybe and uh I thought right how can I get some influence so the thing I really enjoy the most is the actual Facebook page I enjoy it because it's it's private of course Very you safe. can uh, you feel safe or I feel safe I feel very secure in everything that I post. And there's hundreds of women from all walks of life, all different. Uh, there's mums. I'm not a mum myself, but there's uh, working mums. Mm -hmm. There are single parents. There are pensioners. There's uh, young women, although I'm, of course, a young woman like yourself. <laughs> and uh, there's someone there all the time. I'm in Sweden, so I'm in a different time zone. There's women from Norway, Dubai, America. Right. So there's always someone there. If you're feeling a little bit low or if you're unsure about something, there's always someone there to either give you that kick up the backside that you need right. or uh to to celebrate your victories with you and it's it's really amazing and uh, I spoke a little bit earlier about how my mindset had shifted one of the most amazing things about this program is uh, the mindset sessions the live mindset uh, sessions with Shelley you leave those sessions feeling so empowered, like you can really conquer anything. You can you can do anything. And the belief that she has in, in us, and that is then mirrored into us so that we believe 
our goals really quite literally are Shelley's goals. Whatever goal you set yourself, she's there. You know, she's definitely in your corner. It's, and it's I so love true. that. It's so true. And I think when you talk about the belief, I think um, the belief from Shelley, because she has seen mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of women transform their lives. So she mm -hmm. knows that her program works so well Absolutely. that mm -hmm. there can be no other way for her to come across to her clients apart from having the belief. It's whether yeah. you know and it's genuine. Yourself. And it is yeah. genuine. And mm -hmm. because she can put that across in her fantastic way that she does, you do <laughs> believe, you do believe in yourself and that yeah. is what drives you forward all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Week after week um, yeah. in the programme from yourself as well as hundreds of others. Um, it's it's mm -hmm. so very true. Um, tell me, did you have any health issues before you started on the programme and have you noticed any changes in yourself at all, Susan? Yes. Uh, I had actually, the August before, um, started having some gallbladder issues. Oh, okay. And in the beginning, I had no idea what it was. And I was just an excruciating pain. And I had gone to the, the health centre here to, to find out what it was. And of course, it was discovered that uh, I had gallstones. And uh, they, they did an ultrasound to, mm. to check everything. And they had booked an appointment with a specialist. Um, and uh, so I went there with the thought that uh, he was going to then uh, prescribe that I have my gallbladder removed. Okay. So I went there with that thought in my mind thinking, fantastic, I never, ever, ever want to go through that pain again. It was excruciating. And from the August until the February, um, when I, I eventually had the appointment to see the specialist, um, I'd had several uh, gallstones pass, several um, gallbladder attacks. And really, it was awful. The pain, it was just awful. And I think I was more frightened as well that because I'd read a little bit online that they could get stuck. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I was just petrified that this was going to happen. And we stay in a, a small village. So the nearest hospital is an hour's drive away. And I thought, my goodness, this is this is too scary. And uh, when I went to see the specialist, luckily, uh, he had said that uh, because I hadn't had uh, so many gallstones pass, he says, I understand that you're in excruciating pain when it happens. but uh, I don't feel that it's the right time to remove the gallbladder. And I am so grateful today that he didn't. Uh, he sent me away with this um, a can and can't eat uh, list. And on the list, there was you can't eat bacon, you can't eat avocado, you can't eat eggs, apples, all of these things. And uh, so when I got my can and can't list, uh, joining Felix B, I thought, oh my goodness, this is <laughs> completely, <laughs> exactly. And I thought, wow, this, uh, I'm, I mean, it, it has been life changing and life saving uh, for me. So, yeah, I've never, since joining Felix B, I have never, touch wood, had any gallbladder issues and I've eaten three yeah. very good meals a day <laughs> including all those um cannot eat including um, yeah. including yes oh that is fantastic absolutely wonderful to hear um another thing that Shelley covers in our program is the science behind what we eat, mm -hmm. why we eat it, yeah. and what differences mm -hmm. it can make to our lives and why, I guess, so many people struggle in their lives as well. Tell me, is there any um, side of that part of the education that we received from Shelley that, in particular, you've really found any interest in? 
I've, I've just touched on the uh, meal plan uh, or the can and can't list on uh, Shelley's Be Look Be program. And uh, like I said, I was amazed at all of the things on the can't list. Things like vegetable oils and sunflower oils and lots of things. Of course, you've got the garbage, which yes. I understood. But some of the things, healthy whole grains, uh, yogurts, these kind of things. And I thought, wow. But to know, to understand the reasoning why these things aren't healthy, yeah. that is being promoted as healthy. It's amazing. And, and again, it, it really, the educational side of it really makes things sustainable because you understand why. And since joining Feel Look Be, when my father moved here, he wasn't in the best of health and was diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. And uh, after listening to the education uh, sessions, I really felt empowered that I could do something to help my dad. Yeah. And so under his doctor's guidance, of course, um, he's now been able to really dramatically cut down on the medication that he was taking. Oh and goodness. at the moment, he's currently been taking off of another a prescription drug for his arthritis. He used to always walk everywhere when he lived in Dundee. And since moving here, um, it's he's been a bit more restricted because of the pain. However, now he's really enjoying coming out for walks. And last week, I think it was, or the week before, he joined me on an eight kilometer walk. Wow in this heat <laughs> my goodness he was a superstar it's really it's been an amazing program for my family um and it's really it's been a great bonding session with my dad going out for the walks in the morning Isn't, and things that is absolutely wonderful to hear um mm. it really is i mean shelly really um brings family into her program um, yeah. I guess sometimes when we talk about family, we maybe tend to think about our children more. But mm. how wonderful is that to hear from yourself about your elderly father? Not only mm. is he thriving on your diet that you're now feeding him, but look at the difference yeah. in his uh, mobility. Um, that is it's just wonderful to hear. And, mm. um, and I know that Shelley will love to hear that too. Um, but that's just um, tremendous. Um, you touched earlier on the, the mindset part of um, mm -hmm. B2B and how um, Shelley's belief in herself and her programme and how it runs on into ourselves. How, I mean, I can tell by talking to you, you have an amazing mindset um, already. Was it always, have you always had a growth mindset or would you say you've been fixed? Um, in places over the years? I would say that I am a very positive person okay. and I always try and look uh, for positives in situations. And I'm a very confident person. However, I would say that in my confidence and in my previous mindset, Everything to me was like DEFCON 1. It was, yeah. everything was high priority. I'd been used to uh, working in quite uh, stressful jobs. Um, I spent a large part of my career working in hotel and restaurants. Okay. Uh, up to managerial level and I've also owned my own business. So everything, I was used to everything being priority. Even when I look back now, even minor things were just outrageous for me. <laughs> and I never understood about uh, cortisol levels. I never knew anything about that. I never knew anything about stress and how it can affect the body. Sure. And 
I would say that since joining the programme, uh, definitely my mindset has shifted. And by learning to change my mindset, I'm learning, Shelley speaks a lot about controlling the controllables. Correct. If there was something that uh, was, in my opinion, uh, urgent, I would obsess about it until it was done. Um, and it's not healthy. And I didn't realize how unhealthy a mindset I had. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, I was being proactive. I thought I was doing a great job. But when you when you relook at things like from a different point of view, from a different mindset, you you definitely feel the benefits and see the benefits in your body. And uh, I would say that in my obsession before, this could I could obsess about it for weeks, especially if something hadn't gone right. Whereas now with a different mindset, I'm kinder to myself. Good. I focus on the positives. I've always been a positive person, but sometimes that inwardly was led to maybe not such a nice dialogue with myself and, and that's, that's beating myself up. Mm -hmm. And then the I to definitely... Yeah. Exactly. It's huge. Yeah. And Shelley teaches you that the way that you speak with yourself is the most important dialogue that you're ever going to have. And uh, I think, I believe that uh, by joining Felix Bay, I'm a much nicer person to live with now. I really believe that. And I, I think that's the other thing. It's not so much being nice just to yourself. Um, but mm. other people, I think, really appreciate you being kind to yourself and maybe not beating yourself Definitely. up a bit. And it, it has that roll on effect. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And I know that myself and in my own life as well. Um, it, it has a huge bearing on everybody around you, your partner and your dad as well. I'm sure absolutely thrive from that as well. Um, we obviously have a fitness side to feel it be. Um, yeah. Did you, although you said yourself you were overweight before you started, were you quite mobile? Were you a fit person yourself? And how have you incorporated that into um, your life as well, Susan? That would be a great mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, I definitely was not fit. No. Uh, like I said, when we sat down on the decking to take a break, my goodness. I was really needing the break. Um, I was so unfit, but I didn't realize how unfit yeah. I was. And the the thing that also kind of convinced me to sign up was there wasn't this um, push on being able to to do workouts. And there wasn't this focus on fitness. It was about health, well-being. This is a lifestyle, and it is a lifestyle change. And there's no finger pointing in the group about who can do what and how many of. And actually, someone on your team had posted that. Uh, she hadn't done uh, any movement sessions for a few months until she felt more comfortable. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, until she felt more comfortable in her own skin and about uh, joining the movement stations. Right. When, I, when I started a year ago, to give you an example of how unfit I was, I was full of enthusiasm, 18 stone, and really going for it. And I signed in, I, I logged on to my first uh, Zoom movement session. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I made it to the end, but I tell you, I was watching every second on that clock. 
Oh, and I, oh my good it was the longest and I think it was about 25 minutes mm -hmm. uh, it was the longest 25 minutes of my life I was so unfit I stupidly uh, decided to do the uh, movement session upstairs so after it when I went to and we have a spiral staircase <laughs> When I went to walk down the stairs, I could not oh. go from the top of the stairs to the bottom without stopping and having a seat. My legs were jelly. Oh my goodness, I was so unfit. And I never logged into another Zoom session until feel look B, beach body ready, drop a dress size. And I can honestly say, I'm four stone lighter now than wow. uh, I was last year. Yeah. Uh, that is amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that uh, that achievement has happened purely following the meal plan, listening no to workouts. all of those. Yep, no workouts. Uh, following the meal plan, three good meals a day, no snacks. Uh, listening to all the live uh, educational and mindset sessions there, I would say as important as the, the meal plan, absolutely. And uh, I would say that um, it doesn't it, it's it doesn't have to be all about the exercises. That's true. But this month, oh my goodness, four stone lighter. And I have managed to do uh, the yoga sessions and the three live uh, movement sessions each week. That's amazing. I'm not saying that I'm fit. I'm not saying that everything is right. I've realized I have zero coordination. <laughs> but I turn up. I do my best yes. and the really uh, this week actually we the one of the exercises going from plank to squat to jump I shocked myself because I never realized that I could do it oh so that is just so lovely to hear it really I really I felt quite emotional actually after the, the the Zoom session. I I really I'm getting a bit emotional just now. But when Shelley had said what the next movement was going to be, I stood up and I, I remember how I felt and I quite literally thought that's never going to happen. Okay. I'm never going to be able to get from that to that. But I tried it, I gave it a go. And I was shocked. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't perfect. But I did it. And I'm so proud of me. Well, so you should be. And I'm so proud of you too, Susan, because I completely concur to everything that you've said there. Um, because fitness was something that I too couldn't do. And the thought of getting from one level to the next without it going all over the place. Um, a huge yeah. well done to you. And for, for logging in and just taking that step just to see how much you've achieved and what you've done so far um I keep just so proud of you I really really am and um you. did you have an audience was your dad watching no <laughs> no but he does ask how it went <laughs> oh that's lovely oh that's great that's really so great. he isn't he is invested you know he is interested uh, he hasn't tried any of the the moves, <laughs> but uh, he's he is very proud. Oh, mm. absolutely! It's just wonderful. Um, okay, we're just about coming to the end, Susan. Is there anything else that you would like to say um, about the program, um, or anything you'd maybe like to to say to Shelley if you got the opportunity? I've. Hopefully it comes across, uh, but I've had the most amazing year and I can't believe really how quickly it's flown by. It's meal plan Friday, 
and that seems to come round super mm -hmm. fast every week. It so does. And we're week four, and um, really, it's it has been life changing for me and for my family and everyone in the group has given me a huge helping hand to get to where I am today and the support and from the team and from Shelley the encouragement that you guys give us and the time that you spend uh, on us is really amazing and uh, I would Oh, I would definitely recommend Feel Look B to anyone. And I have actually yeah. recommended uh, Feel Look B to a couple of friends. And you're definitely worth it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's been an amazing journey. It took me a long time to get to 18 stone. And uh, it's taken in when you look at the big picture it's yeah. taken such a short time for me to lose four stone it's so true and i'm eternally grateful mm. a huge achievement how much um do you how long do you see yourself um sticking around or how how do you sort of plan your future what what are you sort of thinking yeah. um in your time scale and things? i knew I knew that, uh, like I said, that it took me a long time to get to 18 stone. And uh, I knew that I wasn't going to lose seven stone overnight. I knew that, or in a month, uh, as little experience of the diet and health and fitness world that I had, I knew that this was not going to be a quick fix. I'm shocked at how quickly. I've been able to fix things. However, I realize that uh, I still have a bit to go. And um, I've been on the program now for just over a year. And I set myself the target of 40 kilos. So I thought 20 per year. And so it's, it's over 20 kilos I've lost uh, so far. Yeah. And so I would say I'm signed up. Uh, to one of the memberships up until December. Oh, fantastic! And hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'll have lost perhaps another stone, uh, or maybe more now that I'm doing the movement sessions. Um, and also, uh, at least ten thousand steps a day. I have even something I never thought I would ever say in my life. I bought a treadmill uh, inspired by one of my friends who is on uh, Feel Look B uh, to buy a treadmill. And uh, so I'm, I'm really, I'm invested in me. Totally, it's all about me. And uh, so I would say that I'm signed up for until December. And then I would say, I don't know because I really enjoy the group. I really love the group, and I, I, I do believe that even after I've hit my kind of target, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think I would leave the group because the, the mindset and the education alone uh, is definitely worth the investment. Absolutely. And oh, the meal it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely to to hear. Um, because I do believe that we get so much from Feel It Be, and it's not just mm -hmm. the diet, and every month is so different. No. The education I still learn all these years um, from following Shelley, and I'm still learning um, as mm -hmm. well. So, yeah, I think it's definitely um, for life. A bit like a mm -hmm. dog, not just for Christmas. We're definitely here for Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to um, close our little chat here, but um, my last yep. thing I'd like to ask, how would you sum up Feel Look B, Shelley, Feel Look B in five words? Go and give me your five top words to um, describe it. Uh, I would say that uh, something that's close to my heart, and I couldn't do it if this wasn't part of it, but one of my words would have to be fun. 
uh, it's motivating, it's educational, okay. and uh, something else that's very important, that it's sustainable. Definitely. And uh, it's not one word, it's, but it's life changing. <laughs> so it's a, we could do as a one word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. Susan, that's absolutely <laughs> lovely. Thank you so, so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Very welcome. Uh, it's great like to I'm, meet you. Being, oh, thank you. I feel like I've now got a connection to Sweden, so I can uh, put that little tick on my, on my uh, list exactly. here. Um, oh, thank you so much. Not Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time you're Susan. very welcome Leslie okay, take care we'll see you on the page again soon thank yeah. you yeah thanks very much have a great day